Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we are replacing a locker cable and a scanny. My truck has two side locker cables in it. I've already done the driver's side uh, last year. It snapped. They are bad for going, just wear and tear as they get used. And because it runs, if I remember rightly, or it goes over and down, or I can't remember which way it goes, but just on one of the bends, after a bit of time, snap. And that's got all my tools in it. Now, I got all the over my parts from Scanny the other day. I've got a full service kit, filters a lot, because I always do it service. This is the cable. Right, so that's the part number there, and it was 4623, excluding the VAT. The total cost with the service kit was just under £600. Believe it or not, the most expensive bit of the whole service kit is the oil. The oil is actually £11.50 a litre, but you can get it on special if you haggle with them sometimes around about seven quid a litre, which is a good discount, I suppose, where they do that on purpose. But, aye. Well, let's do the locker cable. Now, the first task you've got to do is, how do you get this open without damaging it with no cable, right? How do you get this open? You've got to do it from the inside, right? And it's quite simple, but a bit of bugger about, especially when you've got the locker full of tools. So, I'll show you. You've got to come inside the cab and you have to go under the bunk. Pull your seats forward. Pull your seats forward and under the bed here there is, where is it? Here it is. There's just a wee belt you pull and you can lift the bed up and that gets you in to your locker there. But you best to get someone to kind of maybe prop this up or someone to hold it, it makes it a bit easier. So this is the inside of my locker so I need to try and See, I've got my big toolbox here, which is going to be very hard to get out, but I'm going to see if I can just get all of this out, slide the box to the side, and that'll just allow me to get to the clip. Here! If you've stuck around the video this long, thank you very much. If you want a chance to win this bobbly hat, all you have to do is keep watching this video right to the end and keep your eye out. It will appear somewhere in the video. It might be on the bed, on my head, or it could be somewhere in the distance, on the back of the container, top of the tool, it could be anywhere. If you spot it, screenshot the moment you've seen it, head over to me on Instagram, send me a DM, and in the next video, I will announce who won the bobbly hat, and you'll get yourself a free bobbly hat. Anyway, back to work. Here we go. Oh, right, that'll jam in there, that's fine, that's sound. Oh. Right, I'm currently in the locker, I have remembered how to do this now. There is the bracket. You can either try and undrill these rivets from the inside and undo the clip there, or you can get some 13 mil and just undo the bracket and it'll open up. There we go. Now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine torques. But we've also got to draw out these rivets. If I remember rightly, there's two more under there. And the whole locker comes out. So I have done one of these before, but I can't quite remember how exactly to do it. But if I did it once, I'll be able to do it again. Ah, I've made a mistake here. If I remember rightly, I don't have to take the M ones out. It's actually only, aye, these four here. Could be wrong, but I don't think I need to take them four out. I just need to take them two and these ones out. That one's for the cupboard itself. The, aye, the door itself. The good thing is about me being wrong, it means you won't make the same mistake I did. I actually have to buff them off because the rivets are just spinning. There you go, you can just see there, just taking the tops of the rivets off and that should just lift off like that, exposing the last two. It'll walk in like that 
and when you pull the cable, ping, and it's snapped. Right there. In theory, this should just all come out. I can't be able to do this. Try a leverage from the bottom. I might. I think I could actually lever it out that way. I think you make it. You pull it from the bottom and. I think I shut this. You shut this down, do you? There we go. Push that back. Push that one back as well. I think. In fact. and scratch the paint. I can't remember how to do this. I'm actually wondering if I could just do it out like that. I don't need to take this all completely out because I'm just going to be bending stuff. Because I think last time I did take this out, I did take that one off. I got the whole walker out. But I'm wondering if I could just do that with this sitting in place here. So you just put a couple rags against the body to protect it. So try to watch because I don't want to bend this bracket. See this one slipped out under, but this one's just caught. But I'm hoping that's the locker cable there, it goes up under there. If I can just do this, I'm hoping I can just do this without needing to take the whole locker off like I did last time. Yeah, I've just taken this cable out just to jog my brain. They've actually sent me two, so I've got a spare, but I think it'll be a while till the other one breaks. And if it does break, I'll probably forget I've got a spare and end up buying another one. So Looking at it, there's the cable. This, I'm pretty sure I need to take that off there. This we. If I remember right, I think I drove this out last time because look, it's got a one way fitting, so it's not going to pop off. So, draw it. Oops, break it. Then, pull it out from. The other side. Easy as that. I've actually figured out how to do this. So the cable is very easy to feed through. So obviously, feed it through. You only get one chance there. So make sure you've got it correct before you actually click that in, right? Feed it through. Come around the other side here, right? It doesn't come out through here. That's very misleading. You push it down, and if you stick your fingers in behind there, there's an opening, and you just grab the cable and pull it through. And the cable actually sits down and runs along there, that's how it sits. So it doesn't come through here, because I've done that mistake before. Run it down, there's a wee opening in there, get your fingers in, and you'll just pull it out, and then just snip it down. So the other mistake I made once before, where I did the other side, I instantly just clicked into the lock there, but I never anchored the end off. The end, actually, if you've in behind here, right, the shoulder of the cable sits in like that, and that allows that stops the whole cable from getting yanked. It just allows it'll go like that instead of like completely coming forward. So, you need to get that tucked in under and behind there. Now, it is a wee bit fiddly, but as you can see, that's anchored in behind there. So, locked. So, aight. That's actually went really well, quite happy with it. I'm just going to build it all back up, relatively easy. That'll take me five minutes to put it all back together. Uh, and then we'll give it a final taste to make sure it's working. Right, moment of truth. I can end up shutting this and then it doesn't open. I've got to start all over again. 
Seems to line up nicely. Oh, something's all right. There's something blocking that. I think I need to make a wee adjustment with this. That's it. Success! Ah, there you go guys, that's how you change a locker cable on a Scanny. So easy, nice and simple. Parts are only 46 quid, uh, round about that, like I said, plus the VAT. If you're to stick that in the Scanny or a garage, uh, I don't know what a garage would charge you, like a third party, but if you're in the Scanny, I can imagine when I put things in there before, that would be about 200 quid to get done. Could be wrong, if somebody works at Scanny, please drop a comment below and let us know how much it is on the labour. Uh, but that would only take you about an hour to do if you're quite mechanically sound. Give these things a go, because these are the bits that kind of save you money and help develop of what your knowledge is around trucks uh, but now I'm going to put all my tools back away tidy up and I think the trailer's going to get greased and the slack adjuster's all done always thank you so much for watching this video and oh and remember the competition if you manage to spot the hat take, uh, take a screenshot DM us on Instagram and we'll announce the winner on the next video thank you very much guys flat out flat bro oost